our regulars, our special guests this evening are Bernadette Peters and Mike Douglas. Before we get started, can we turn the house lights up and see if y'all have anything you want to say? Any questions? Yes. Yell? Want me to do the Tarzan yell? Okay. <clears throat> I warm up though. Take me to get ready? <laughs> For what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, well, I guess about, well, I wash my hair and then it's got to be dried and curled and then they stick the makeup on. I start on Tuesday and I'm ready by Friday. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to do Plaza Suite? Yes, I'll be doing Plaza Suite at the Huntington Hartford in May. We open May 6th with uh, George Kennedy and I'm scared to death, but I'm excited. Yes. <laughs> Oh, Julie and I are hoping to work together again very soon. We are really, really trying to, if we can. The problem was that she was under contract to NBC, and I'm with CBS, and the only way to do it is to go to ABC, you know. <laughs> yes! all the parts you play, which one do you enjoy playing the most? I think the nagging wife. Uh, the... Uh, She reminds me of uh, a lot of people I know, especially myself at home. Yeah. <laughs> We've all got relatives or friends like that, and I think that's more. And then just the look on Harvey's face always cracks me up anyway. <laughs> yes! Oh, those two darling little Girl Scouts. Yes! Surprise for you. <laughs> well, they talk together. Come on! <laughs> they both said it together. They talked together. Oh! <laughs> Are you, you've got to be twins. Are you, who, what's your name? Ruth. Ruth? And what's your name? Alice. Alice, who's the older? I am. How many minutes? 20. You're 20 minutes older than Alice. That's funny, because I do a Girl Scout, and my name in it is Alice. Isn't that, well, what have you got? Cookies. Girl Scout cookies, for me? How There's much? <laughs> what, sweetheart? There's plenty more where they came from. There's plenty more where they came from? Two for me, too, Alice? Well, now, how much are they? A I know it's Girl Scout week, right? Uh, how much are they, a box? A dollar. A dollar? For, now, is this a dollar? This one a dollar? Yeah. And this one a dollar? Uh -huh. This one a dollar? Yeah. This one a dollar? Got yeah. some money, George? Yeah. <laughs> I know, but it's yeah. for the Girl Scout. <laughs> this is, oh, come on, George. You can cough up with a 20. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it back to you. George, okay, now here's 20 for the Girl Scouts, and here's the $4 for the cookies, and George is my sugar daddy. <laughs> no, my real name is Ben Gazzara, but I have to change it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's my real name. Yeah. Yes, sir. Did I ever ride a horse and fell off? No. <laughs> a any other dumb questions? <laughs> okay, don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs> Television City in Hollywood. It's the Carol Burnett Show with Harvey Gorman. Vicki Lawrence and Lyle Wagoner. happy to have with us once again one of the most delightful young ladies I know and certainly one of the most talented Miss Bernadette Peters <laughs>
planet with homes that are rented so i have invented my own darling this place is a lover's oasis where life's weary chases unknown far from the cry of the city
you want to know why I didn't invite you to my party? I wouldn't go even if I was invited. Because I hate parties. How do you know? Because you've never been to one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know all about parties. They play dumb kissing games. What's wrong with kissing games? <laughs> I hate him. I absolutely hate him. Every time a boy kisses me, I wash my face. Looks like your boy hasn't kissed you for years. <laughs> you want to play Marcus Welby? How do you play that? I punch you in the mouth and you need a doctor. I'm not afraid of you. I'm my boyfriend here. <laughs> Who's your boyfriend? He just moved into the neighborhood, and his name is Stafford Mufeld Wellington, the third. The third what? The third boyfriend I've had this week. Well, he sounds like a sissy to me. He is not. Speaking of sissies, look what's coming. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Stafford. Hi, Becky. Hey, you always play with dolls? Liza happens to be my dog. Yes, I just happen to be your hairdresser. You did a beautiful job, Stafford. Thank you. It's amazing what could be done with a little deputy doing some thumbtacks. <laughs> Ooh, I'll let you get a hold of that man. Don't you touch me. What is that? Her name is Charlene. A Charlene? Oh, a tomboy, what a bore. Hey. Those your baby teeth? Yeah, these are my seconds. Why don't you pray for third? Yeah, touch me, I'll snatch your eyes off. You want to rest? Oh, you don't pay any attention to her. Bet you I can stare on my head longer than you can. Oh, she's sick. Hey, what I bet you Tell you what else? Yeah, what else? What else? We can hold our breaths and see which one turns blue first. Oh. I've been holding my breath ever since I met you. Pew, 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 oh. I did. You better get this hairdresser out of here before I curl his nose. Come on, Stafford. I don't want to be late for my birthday party. Nah. Where do you see my present? I redecorated your dollhouse. It was simply crying out for chintz. Boy, is this neighborhood going downhill. <laughs> Hi. 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 <laughs> I just moved into the neighborhood. What's your name? Charlene Fusco. Oh, that's a pretty name. Uh, what's yours? Uh, Joe Wellington. Wellington? Mm hmm You got a brother? Well, that's what my, my mother says he is, but Dad and I aren't so sure. Hey, you want to play? Oh, gee, I'd love to. Oh, but I can't. I got to go to a dumb old party. Becky's? Yeah. Hey, why don't you go with me? You could be my date. You mean it? Sure. I'd like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's terrific. I'll go home and I can change. Good. What's the matter? Well, they're gonna play kissing games, and I don't know how to do that. I've never kissed anybody before. Oh, neither have I. But I think I know how it goes. Do? Yeah. Listen, why don't we practice? Because when we get there, we don't want to look like a couple of kids, you know? Oh, no. How does it go? Well, uh, tilt your head back. Now, pucker up your lips and close your eyes. Okay. What do you do? I do the, I do the same thing. Are you doing it? Yeah. It isn't working. Oh, we gotta both lean forward. Ready? Okay. Go. How was it? Now I understand my mother and father. What do you mean? When my father asked my mother to kiss him goodnight, she always says she's got a headache. <laughs> Ladies and 
and gentlemen, the wonderful Mr. Mike Douglas. in the dramatic arts. You really mean that? Of course. Now let's show these yokels a performance they'll never forget. <laughs> Isn't there something we can do about these mosquitoes? Well, darling, I've asked the stage manager to find us an insect repellent. A volunteer? Ah, folks. <laughs> we are not folks. We are funt and mundane. Is that the insect repellent? Oh, yeah, sure is. Great stuff, too. Use it on all the livestock. Can it be used on humans? Well, I use it. I repeat. Hmm? <laughs> How's the house? This ain't a house. This is a barn. I meant the audience, you clod. Oh, yeah, big crowd, big crowd. Well, we ain't had a crowd like this here ever since Soupy Sales did his one-man show. <laughs> uh, what time does the curtain go up? As soon as the hog calling contest is over. Hog calling, you say? Oh, yeah. We don't want our two big events going on at the same time. <laughs> Should be over any second now. Well, 
See you on the boards. <laughs> oh, thank you, ma'am. Albert! Don't say it, my love. Remember that we are fun and mundane, yes. America's greatest theatrical team. We may be acting in a barn, but I smell another triumph. <laughs> or something. Hurt, <laughs> Bob. Would you spritz my shoulder now? I'll spritz it, my darling. <laughs> we must go. Magic time! <laughs> No tears. Oh. <laughs> but why not? This is our last evening together. It is a time for sadness. Au contraire. We've had three fabulous years together here in my penthouse high above New York. Oh, it has been marvelous, hasn't it, darling? Our own little private island in the sky. Darling, let's go and drink in the magnificent view. All right. <gasps> Look, you can see for miles. never seen Jersey before. <laughs> darling, the view is much better from the other window. Come on, darling. Oh, oh, dear, my sweet. Look at this. Won't this be breathtaking, my darling? Oh, yes. Like a trip to the moon on gossamer wings. My darling, what would you like? A double. The usual, you say? Now, what did the telegram say exactly? Oh, my darling, I still can't believe it. My husband alive after all these years missing in the wilds of Africa. One never knows the whims of the Congo. Yes. You think he would never survive alone in the jungle? Yes, the attacks from the savage beasts alone would. The attacks from the savage beasts alone would. <laughs> <laughs> the attack from the savage beast alone would have torn them to pieces. I got it. A to A toast. To our parting. No, my darling, to our first meeting. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. How could I forget? It was right here in our little hideaway, far from the maddening crowd.
dedicate the rest of my life to you. I was hoping you would say that. <laughs> but darling, you're crying. <laughs> Tears of happiness, you say? Oh, my darling, I feel the same way. My cup run is over. <laughs> for the second half of the Carol Burnett Show following station identification. Michael, we've had so many letters from people who watch our show, and especially the women who, who want you to be on our show, and here you are. You know, something, I think every housewife in the country is in love with you. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I'm in love with every housewife in the country. In fact, I'd like to give each one of them a big kiss. I'm a housewife. <laughs> well? <laughs> I'm sleeping and right in the middle of a good dream. Like all at once I wake up from something that keeps knocking at my brain. Before I go insane, I hold my pillow to my head and spring up in my bed, screaming out the words I dread. I think I love you. She thinks she loves me. This morning, I woke up with this feeling I didn't know how to deal with. And so I just decided to myself, why I'd hide it in myself and never talk about it. And didn't I go and shout it when you walked into the room? I think I love you. She thinks she loves me. I think I love you. So what am I so afraid of? I'm afraid that I'm not sure of a love there is no cure for. I think I love you. Isn't that what life is made of? Though it worries me to say that I've never felt this way before. got a lifetime to share so much to say and as we go from day to day I'll feel you close to me so close to me you'll the time be alone Let's take a lifetime to say
Welcome to the Early Early Show. Tonight we present another movie from our library of cornball classics, The Most Happy Stella. Today, Nick takes himself male or a bride. Huh? <laughs> My beautiful Stella should be here any minute. <laughs> ah, Jerry, Jerry. My full-time foreman and part-time poet. Yeah, Nick. Hey, Jerry. How come a handsome guy like you never got married? Huh? <laughs> Nick, well, you see, I was born a wanderer. And that world out there is full of wonder, which is why I wander. But if I didn't wander, I wouldn't wonder. Hey, Nick. Oh, oh, thanks, Daddy Jerry. <laughs> Oh, such a day! I'm so happy! And when I'm happy, I've got to dance! <laughs> oh, okay, Nick! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Hey! Yeah! Hey, you're pretty good! You betcha! I graduate! Quinn Dancing School. <laughs> hey, Jerry, come in. Stop the music! Come in, Jerry. Jerry, uh, my Stella wants me to send her my picture, see? Yeah. But I'm no such good-looking guy, so I send her your picture. Is that all right with you, Jerry? Oh, I wonder. And when I wonder, I have to wonder. But when I'm... <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Hey, that must be the mailman! The mailman! <laughs> Got a package for you, Nick. Oh. Bring it in! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is... Hey, Jerry, you give me a hand, huh? Sure, Nick. <laughs> My mail on a bride, huh? I'm Stella, the ex-waitress who's sick and tired of being kicked around by life and willing to take a gamble on a guy she never saw before. Jackpot! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're even better than your picture! Oh, no, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Jack, Jack. Just a minute, Stella, hold your face. Uh, I'm Nick. Uh, I send you his picture. I'm the groom. He's the best man. You're telling me. <laughs> There's a lot of electricity in the air. Must be a storm coming up. You can say that again. Look, Stella, look, I'm, I'm old man, but I'd be good to you. You marry me, Stella. Why not? It's better than working nights. When you my wife, you got nothing to do at night. You're telling me. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I don't know what to do. Uh, kiss her, Nicky. Oh, no, 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 no. Kiss her. Well... <laughs> Oh. Hey, that was some wedding night. <laughs> uh, Stella, no, Stella, this has been the happiest month of my life. You happy too, Stella? Sure, Nick. I've never been happier. Uh, uh, hey, guess who's coming for dinner? Who? Jerry. Jerry. <laughs> hey, Jerry, come on in. Look who's here, Stella. Hey, take Jerry's coat. Good. Hey, Jerry, how come you're not eating? 
Oh, yeah, sure, Nick. Uh, pass me the song, will you? Sure, Jerry. <laughs> hey, I could use some salt, too. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Glenn, I'm so happy. I'm so happy here in my house. My whole world is here. Just me and my little woman. Hey, you're getting littler all the time. Hey, this is special occasion. I get special bottle wine. You wait right there, I get wine, huh? Jerry, we can't go on like this. No, you're right, Stella. Nick's been like a father to me. Anyway, when I hear that wind calling me, I know it's time to leave. It's for you. <laughs> Goodbye, Stella. No, Jerry, don't go. Goodbye. Jerry, come back. <laughs> Jerry's gone. Uh, Stella. We gotta let Zaddy do his own thing. That's what I had in mind. <laughs> Stella, we've been married 10 months today. This has been the most exciting months I ever have in my whole life. They've been exciting for you too, Stella. Hiya, Nick. Hi, Stella. Hello, Jerry. I knew he couldn't stay away. <laughs> he loves me like a father. <laughs> and look how he loves his mommy. <laughs> hey, this is happy occasion. I go get happy bottle of wine. You stay right here, Jerry. Oh, Jerry. Well, I've been half crazy without you. Don't touch me, don't touch me. You're just a hired hand, remember that. While I am Mrs. Nick Magalaba Papa Daba Laba Raba Daba Sure, that's easy for you to say. Yeah, you try it sometimes. <laughs> oh, Jerry, Jerry. Hey, Stella. You're good mommy, but if you're not careful, you're going to spoil him. <laughs> hey, now we have wine now. We're going to drink, huh? Hey, uh, no, wait a minute, Nick. Uh, I got some chores to do. Uh, I'll see you later. Huh? There is back on oh, such special occasion. At least we have nice big breakfast. You go into barn and get fresh eggs. Sure, Nick. <laughs> Stella. Oh. Stella, Stella. Oh, Jerry, 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 Jerry. Jerry, do you remember? Do you remember what I told you about Nick? How much I respect him, how much I like him, and how I would never, ever do anything in this whole wide world to hurt him. I remember. Well, forget it. Oh, Jerry. No, no. It's wrong. It's wrong. I. Stella, Stella, where are you? Oh, yeah. now I got you. Oh, <laughs> my God. Stella, Daddy, where are you? Stella, da Hey, what are you doing in my haystack? Out, get out! <laughs> Stella, Daddy, get out! <laughs> no, wait, Nick, I can explain. Tell me I didn't see what I saw. No, no, Nick. And you don't understand. <laughs> don't tell me I didn't see what I saw, because if I didn't see what I saw, I wouldn't see it, and I saw it. Uh, no! How could you do this to me? After I treated you like my own son. Now, Nick, I'm sorry. Not you, him. <laughs> I'm you're going to pay for this, Jerry. No, Nick, don't. <laughs> what did I do? And I'm sorry, Jerry. I'm sorry. That's well, all right, Nick. You missed. <laughs> I'm so happy! And I'm so happy! I'm not so happy! Oh, <laughs> oh Nick! Are you there, Nick? 
Nein, hier Stella. Oh, Nick. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for what I did to you. You were so good to me. <laughs> you you gave me a whole new lease on life. <laughs> Before I go. <laughs> could I have one last kiss? Sure, Stella. Not you, him. <laughs> Terrible. Just a few minutes ago, she was here. And now she's gone. Just like that. Just like that. Like that. Like that. Whoop. Hey, I look in my mail order Cadillac. Maybe we have better luck next time. Hey. It says here in Variety that Ruby Keeler is a smash hit in No No Nanette. Well, hot dang! Tippy Canoe and Tyler too! Ha! Baby, our kind of show business is coming back! Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> well, it is. It says here that David Merrick is holding open auditions for a new show called Old Faces. That's perfect for us! It'll be great to get back on Broadway again! Ha, ha, ha. I think I've heard that line before.
with us next week when our guests are going to be those two young whopper snappers, Nanette Fabry and Ken Berry. And let's do something about pollution because the children you save may be your own. I'm so glad we had this time together just to have a laugh or sing a song. Seems we just started and before <laughs> you know it comes a time we have to say. Uh, 